Hello YouTube, Gentleman2005 here with a review of SH Figure. It's Kamen Rider Kaiza, the second rider from Fize. So we see just like Fize's box, it's in a black color, except instead of, uh, what was it, red writing, I think, it's now purple for Kaiza. Um, so what we see is it says Max Rider Kaiza down the side, we see the Fize logo down there, Kaiza in black and white here, and then Kamen Rider Kaiza. On the side we see the yellow stripe, just like Fize had, Max Rider Kaiza on the back. We see him doing uh, Kusaka's uh, trademark little pose with the grabbing on his collar. We see him with the um, the what's it called? little blade thing, his, his sword. Uh, then we see him over here exceed charging. We see him shooting you with the, the sword in gun mode and then his phone in gun mode and then double feet kick. So let's get him out the box. So here he is, he comes with um, the gun to attach to his leg, the gun, not the gun, the, the sword gun to attach to his leg, the sword in sword mode. Then we see, what is that piece down there for? I think it's to, um, to make it a gun. I have no idea what that piece is so I just noticed it. Uh, Kaiser himself, then we see phone for exceed charge, belt no phone. Um, belt with phone and no mission memory, phone in gun mode, um, the, the Kaiza, uh, shot, Kaiza pointer, Kaiza pointer, ready to kick you, and then hands. So let's get him out of the package. He's got a lot of accessories, just like thighs, but no need to be scared. What you should be scared of is how jacked up he is. Um, I don't know, my shoulder pads don't seem jank, Shuki. Um, so we're going to go ahead, first of all... Here's the pointer. We're just going to attach that on the back of his belt. There's a little peg right back here on his butt. We're just going to peg it in. Oh, you fag. You little bastard. You little bastard. We'll call him Cheeky. You Cheeky Bastard. You, you got us good. So... There we go. Just pop it in on his butt. That's how he likes it, because he's Kusaka and he's a bastard. So, you cheeky bastard. So, let's get his, um... So, here's his... I bet you that's what it's for. I bet you this is for something for a gun. It's almost what it looks like. I don't know. I'm going to leave that piece in there, because I seriously don't know what it's for, and I feel stupid. But, uh, so here's this to attach to his leg. Then here it is out in sword mode, looking pretty epic. Here is the fist. You can see it's just a fist with the pointer, with with the uh, with the shot in it. All these are counterintuitive. Uh, here's the pointer ready to kick into the mission memory inside, um, and then just the different phones. We're actually going to need this one for what we're doing. It's the driver without the mission memory. So let's look at Kaiza. So we see the Kai Greek letter symbol on his head. We see the compound eyes in the blue. Looking real shiny, looking real cool. Uh, then we see, what do we have? We have the um, the chest design here with the, the gold and the yellow, whatever it's supposed to be. And the, he looks really, I love the design of Kaiza. Um, there's something jank with his chest. Look at this. See, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Like this, I, I don't think he does yoga. I don't, this is just weird. Like it, it makes me uncomfortable. Like because I can actually, if I move, if I have the belt like this, I can actually see inside his waist, and that just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and there's his legs down here. The yellow stripes running down his legs. We see the plug-in for the pointer. Um, and then we have the empty slot for his sword right here, which this just pops off on a peg. To plug um to plug this into, which we'll do that right now. Um, where's the peg? Here's the peg. So we we peg it in like this, I think. Or actually, probably yeah, straight down like that. So we pegged it in, and then he wants to use it. So we'll put this back on the empty one just to finish what we're doing. So in his feet, we see the the feet on the bottom have the little Kaizo design down there, the Kai. And then the, the shot right here. And then we already put the pointer on his back in the peg. 
So he looks really good. Um, he just has some issues, and then this leg, for some reason, I don't know, it does, I, I don't think it's supposed to do that, but articulation-wise, now he has his head movement, his arms just, um, you know, moving pretty easily, and then his legs, um, the legs seem to be okay, um, I just don't know if he's supposed to be all, like, like, if it's supposed to go that much or that easily, um, I, I, you know, I don't know, but, um, so other than that, he actually he doesn't seem too bad. Just that waist issue, looking really jank. I don't know what Shuki's talking about with his having a shoulder pad problem, because um, I didn't get details. But I um, mean, the belt is a separate piece, so it moves all around. So there's that. Um, and then we can pop the belt off, and we'll get it, look at it up close. Because I actually didn't show that off, because I'm just stupid. We see the mission memory. We see the phone. We see. Um, all that fun stuff there, and then we'll move that, and then we'll just pop this into the peg right here, since we're going to have him hold the sword uh, epically, so pegged in and ready to go, so we do not create a paradox, since in order to make the sword extend, he pops the mission memory into it, which we can see right here, um, so I mean, I don't need you to stand, but so I won't. All right, let's put this away right back in here. We're going to do this pose here. So we need to leave the fist, and then we need a holding things hand. So figure out which one's the holding things. Actually, there's this hand here, I think, especially to do the, the, the uh, collar grab, which is weird, but I guess cool at the same time. Um... So let's see, what, uh, that's not a holding things hand. So, and I need a right hand, I grabbed a left hand. So I want, I guess this one, yeah, this hand. So, pop this off, put it in the box, so we don't lose it. Because we're grown-ups, and that's what grown-ups do. Alright, so we need him. So we're gonna turn his wrist like this. All right, let's get back. Let's make sure we're in camera. So we'll. All right, turn his arm, and then now uh, the blade has to be. Shit, how does he fucking hold this? He holds it all jacked up. Like I gotta figure out which handle he holds it on. It's his damn Kai. Uh, so he holds it on. Let's see, like this. Oh wait, no, he's holding it, oh I see what he's doing, he's holding it like this on this piece, so he holds it like this, okay. So, I actually don't even know, you know if this is a folding thing's hand, but whatever, we're going to use it. His, all his fingers, he doesn't have all his fingers, Jesus Christ. You are being difficult, Kusaka. Masato Kusaka. A.K.A. Captain Douchebag. And actually, I didn't point this out before, but I'll go ahead and point it out now. He has um, the metal die cast feet. Um, he does not have ball joints. He has the metal die cast. So, that should give some people here a hard on. Um, Alright, so... Bend his arm, kind of tilt the head. And the dog barks. The dog barks some more. Stand, please, you. I think you fixed that toe joint there. And then the ankle is not all the way like I need it. I need his foot flat. Here. There we go. That's somewhat correct. Actually, we need the arm. This arm a little bit more like this. 
So we have Kaiza and a barking dog. So I'll talk over the dog. Um, I, it's hard. I like the, the character suit. I hate the character. Kuzaka's a douche. I like the Kaiza's, um, the suit design a lot. And I don't see too much of a problem design-wise of this figure. It's just that, that the legs do a little bit of a weird thing and that waist. So you may get one a little bit more messed up than that because I've heard some people's are really jacked up. Mine doesn't seem too, too bad. But it's kind of one of those that, you know, be wary getting it because you might get something jacked up. But he looks pretty cool. Um, he just has some issues. So keep that in mind when making a decision on this purchase because it's not one I can entirely say, yes, go buy this immediately because it's epically awesome. You know, I say buy it with caution just because you never know what you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my two cents on that. But he does look cool. So uh, that's always a plus. So until next time, you can check out the podcast, website, Ramboards, RiseRangersRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully without the dog. Bye.